welcome back to the channel guys today is tuesday june 6th and today i'm gonna start off with bleaching buckets me and my cousin are going to clean out group x slash maternity i guess you could call it and then i'm gonna probably do some hutch work later on and uh, we'll see what else with the day see what else the day has to throw at us don't worry i heard your request i'm down at the parlor anyway so i might as well show a little bit of milk here. I'm gonna grab my brush here real quick. For those that are new, this is a 60 cow rotary. It's a Madero. And right now our first group's getting milked. Oh hey there, Missy. So here the cows are getting off. Things might be a little bit more crappier compared to the last time that I recorded. Believe it or not. But there's the crowd gate doing its thing. Those close behind each cow just so they don't come through too fast. And they can uh, so it can sort the cows correctly. Kind of completely random note. Uh, but yeah, shout out to the New York farm girls. I like how they uh, show the cows wanting to get milk. And here's actually a perfect opportunity. <clears throat> that crowd gate's actually not working right now. And look, all the cows are just wanting to get on. I mean, they're up there, they're fighting to get on. And no, milking does not hurt the cow. It's just very light suction. They're all in here relaxed, taking their turn on the merry-go-round. And also for those that are new or maybe just didn't see in previous videos, we do direct load in here. So that tank is just a 500 gallon buffer tank for when they're switching trucks. Right now this trail is getting loaded and probably one of those two are over there are gonna get loaded. So, next. And these tags, yeah. This one, that's gonna be the next one. And this one actually might be full. There's what, gonna be taken in here shortly, so. So full, empty, and loading. So. All right, something else that's also new. This is actually our old milk tank for the milk that's, for this pasteurized the pre-pasteurized milk. I cut off the legs at the bottom and now we have a bigger water barrel in here. I could have made a video with me doing this, but didn't have the camera on me and both cameras were dead. So, but yeah, 100 gallons if it's completely full. Obviously we can't fill it up the whole way, but it's very much easier to feed a lot of water, I should say. So it's more weight, but Four can still handle it. Lemon scented. Oh boy. Of course, I have to have my earbuds past the time listening to a podcast or music. We got six gallon buckets here. We were losing both buckets left and right. It wasn't that bad. Like one or two of their hand goes gave out. And we had one of them to give out, so we had to use another bucket. Yeah. Yeah.
It's gonna soak the lens. I'll bleach will get that stuff right off and soak the bottles and pitcher. And the buckets are done. Alright, we're soaking. On to the next thing. Now, I read a couple comments. Someone said about interviewing all like the family members and stuff that work here. I don't know if they all want to be interviewed. Um, right now, I mean, pretty much our setup is, you know, I'm in the Youngstock area. Uh, my dad's shop. And he also helps with the heifers, more so the older ones when it comes to moving. My cousin Mitch, he would also be a part of young stock, more so bedding up the older heifers. Um, and he also takes care of the bunk work down below. Cousin Tyler, he's a uh, herd, I would say, I guess you could classify him as a herdsman more in charge with the parlor down below along with my uncle Bob which is his dad and then Mitch's dad Mike would also be more like crop and he also feeds the cows so my dad also feeds old, the oldest heifers in the morning so or some of the oldest heifers I should say but yeah I mean that's just kind of a rough rundown um, I may have missed some stuff because I'm not I'm not all knowing so but if you guys want to you know kind of know more about us i'll leave a video link in the description of a video that was made on us uh, i forget how many years ago but there was a farm show and we brought some cows there for uh calving reasons so that people watch cows give birth i'm gonna bring a straw out to new hutches now for new calves that we'll be bringing out Calving has been really slow here recently. I'm not complaining, but you know, in order to milk cows, we need calves first. It's been pretty slow. Don't worry, they'll come in some calf tsunami and they'll have we'll have so many calves in. Normally, I guess you could say I don't know if 60 calves per month. We've had when when we're really cranking out calves, we had 90 calves a month already. So <clears throat> And that might just be heifer calves. If I remember correctly, 90, 90 heifer calves in one month. That was way back, I don't know when. So the end of yesterday, I started doing dirt work back here. That's for water retention reasons. Uh, I'll kind of show what's going on here. But right now they're digging a trench out here and then they're doing stuff up there, but I'll show you here shortly. First, I'm gonna do the fun stuff here. That's all done. It was a very clean process. No straw was left behind. Um, yeah, no straw. But I can show a little bit of this process here.
Here's a tarp like purpose. I don't know. I, I think that will. Uh, I would think water can go through that, but I could be wrong. I think the idea is to let it slowly. Slowly. The tarp will slowly release the water into the ground. And this will catch the water. I think that's the idea. Yeah, so that's that. So I did talk to the guys. The whole idea is that for it is to uh, slowly release the water into the ground. So. I am somewhat smart. Guess it's been some time. I'll go in here. Mitch is milling corn. I have a couple questions to ask them here. So I haven't really updated any updated you guys on like what's going on in here at the silos uh because the whole expansion and electricity situation uh with the mills and everything in there everything just didn't work out so uh pretty much what ended up happening here is we got a mill from another farm here that we have a farmer rig the spout going blowing into the mixer here that will mill corn out of this 90 footer um right now like i said Mitch is in there taking out of the other silo which I'll show you that mill setup. This that'd be the ideal. Uh, I think the plan is always be unloading out of two silos once everything's all said and done. Cause that's how we, we were doing it, but I feel like expansion electricity situation kind of messed everything up. Here's the mill. Slowly taking it away. And you can see the powdery goodness there going on the conveyor. sesame and we're rolling pasteurizing soaking walking so after lunch here I had to run off and grab the GoPro but forgot it Jared's bringing calves out he's gonna scrape dump water out from this morning me and Mitch are cleaning out group X and then we'll get the feeding the ends I just moved the rim forward to take the load away from the beaters
I think this is load four, I think. In case you're wondering, you might be like, Ashlyn, what is group X? That's just the group that we call, it's our treated group, weather, well mostly, I would think most of the cows in there because they're treated for mastitis and to treat mastitis use antibiotics. And I know there's conspiracies out there. You can't sell milk with antibiotics. So that's that. Um, I forget how they, they, the way they test milk and they catch a hint of antibiotics in a truckload of milk, you can't sell it. So we reuse that milk to feed calves here and uh, you'll see that here shortly. That's what we'll be doing after uh, cleaning out group packs here. Alright, taking the last load now. I'm going to grab the payload and before I load and get a scoop of shavings. Yeah, no smoky haze looks like a storm and then there was a lightning strike well that sums it up me and jared are gonna feed in the storm i was gonna ask my dad to give me his rest best rain dance but i don't know i don't want to put him on the spot like that get the feeding here it looks like jared already started loading it jared give me your best rain dance give me your best rain dance <laughs> I like where this is going. What do you have to say? Uh, well, I'm glad we're getting rain, but it doesn't have to come like this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh huh. <laughs> Me and J Rod are feeding bottles now. His rain dance is working. That's all the rain. No more. No more. What? The barrel that the lids were, that the lids were soaking in. Was the water so hot? Yeah. Still probably one of my favorite cats. Ashlyn's a fly magnet. Say the cat's outnumbered. 
no bin is at the new weaning barn and because they still got to finish it so we this is how we've been feeding it i don't know if i really recorded much well i haven't recorded any calf feeding so this is covering it now Parlor's washing down. Me and Jerry Rod are done, so we're gonna go home. If there is, I can grab it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.